Hello my friends, purchasers of the UHF Pro. A couple of tips for you here to um, expedite the loving of this device, which I'm sure is right around the corner. Um, when you get it, you're going to want to open up the back. This compartment will actually hold one of your transmitters, just in case you kind of want to be self-contained. Uh, just like the Happy Amp, you can take and put a transmitter in there along with a lapel mic, so you could be self-contained just in the unit itself. Now, when you open that up, you're going to find that the battery is disconnected, and you're going to want to uh, reach in there, and if you're holding your camera with one hand, I suggest putting it down to try to connect the device because man is that hard to do with one hand there you go so you want to connect the battery just like that and then you're all set there and you can turn it on right here on the side there is a power on off charge button you'll turn that on and here comes up this beautiful display I have to just say for a second, I am quite proud of myself that this device is going to retail for $449. Um, it's only because I know what quantity we can sell of these things that we can do it for $449 when the only other device on the market that is a UHF system um, with dual channels, dual wireless channels, built-in MP3 player... Um, and, you know, everything, well, it doesn't even actually, the competition doesn't even have everything that this device has. Anyway, it sells in excess of $1,200. If you really, really, really search, you can find one for about $1,200, okay? So, anyway, that shows you the power of Happy Amp. All right, so, enough about that. About, um... Uh, setting your uh, mics to work. So here's one of the transmitters and I'm going to pop it open because inside it where I put my batteries there is a little infrared, that's what the IR stands for, infrared spot, okay? And I'm not going to turn it on just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do go to the wireless mic channel select, okay? If I press and hold in the wireless mic channel select button you will see that a number starts flashing. The O2 starts flashing. You can go through there and you can select any one of the wireless channels. There are actually 96 different frequencies that you can select on each channel. All right, so there. All right, perfect. Aha! On 81, there's some interference, so I wouldn't want to use that one. I'd pretty much select any one of the other frequencies, okay? So let's say, for example, I'm going to go with uh, 48. Press that button once, and I can change the other one to any other frequency that I want, okay? Press that button again. Um, now, it's going to be flashing. I have to wait till it stops flashing. There. Now you see these are flashing down here. That means that they are not connected, okay? That's because we don't have a device synced. So, I am going to press the W mic so, uh, channel select the wireless mic channel select button just one time quickly and that is going to flash up there. You see it says the uh, wireless channel 2 is flashing. Well, I think it actually sunk with it already. Let's see. Try it again. I'm going to do this. There. That's flashing. I'm going to turn on my transmitter, face it towards there. And that's it. I just turned it on and faced it towards the device and it is now synced. Um, to get the best sound out of this device, which I was going to show you to hear a tiny bit of the white noise, but my air conditioning system kicked on in the background, um, but to, uh, to hear um, that I could turn it up a little bit, you really can't hear it. I mean, it's really pretty silent. However, if you go down to the sound effects adjust button and you press it one time, it's going to adjust bass. Okay? It's adjusting the bass. So I'm going to set the bass up around 4 or 5, and I'm going to go treble. I'm going to set the treble down to negative 3. That's going to give me about the clearest sound. If I take the treble and I turn the treble way up to 7, I'm going to hear a little bit of white noise through the system, okay? So I'm going to set it down to about negative 3. That's going to sound excellent. The next one is echo. You're going to want to leave echo on 0. But that's going to give you the best sound, all right? And um, you can set those two, so you can use two channels at one time. And um, this button over here, torch, 
that actually is lights on the front of the system. I don't don't ask. They're they're there. So uh, walk to the car safely in the dark. I don't know. Um, all right, everything else should be pretty easy to figure out. Everything's in the manual, but mic priority, if you turn that on, that means that your music, when it's playing, if you start to talk in the microphone, it's automatically going to lower the volume of your microphone. All right? Um, and uh, one more thing to show you, the gain, to adjust the gain, is inside the transmitter. You need a little, uh, it's that orange spot right there, you need a little uh, eyeglass screwdriver to adjust it. Um, so you can set the gain where you want it and then just leave it, okay? Um, there you go. That's it. Thank you.